A shoe is just a shoe. Until my son steps into it. Thanks for joining us for our weekly film show. We're starting with Ben Affleck's ode to basketball legend Michael Jordan. The Argo actor-director stars alongside Matt Damon and Viola Davis in the film entitled Air about the creation of Nike Air's Jordan shoe. Ben Affleck plays Nike co-founder Phil Knight, while his good friend and collaborator Damon plays Nike executive Sonny Vaccaro. 1984 has been a tough year. Our sales are down, our growth is down. Sonny, I brought you in here to grow the basketball business. People don't know what the hell a Nike is. What's a Converse? NBA all-star shoe. There's nothing cool about Nike. You would have to have a pretty compelling pitch. I can tell them the one thing the other companies can't compete with. Our basketball division is terrible. It needed to constantly sort of put the audience in a not self-conscious way in the period remember where they were because you're asking people to make a lot of um, counterintuitive assumptions like Nike isn't the big giant basketball company and it wasn't uh, taken for granted that Michael Jordan was gonna be the greatest basketball player and you know those are hard things to get out of people's minds and the music sort of kept reminding people at least I hoped hey this is a different time I got it. I found him. Who's that? Jesus? Can't afford it. I'm willing to bet my career on one guy. My name's Sonny Vaccaro. I'm with Nike. Do you typically make it a habit of showing up at people's front doors unannounced? I don't like to take no for an answer. There was so much about this deal that changed the world. I mean, like, looking at, you know, people as brands, which is like this common thing now, like even on Instagram, people kind of look at themselves that way. But, but really what the point that his mother makes in the movie that that if he uh, that he's going to put the value in the shoe and and the Phil Knight character kind of acknowledging you know towards the end of the movie like that'll be the best thing that ever happened for this company like if we have to pay this person a bunch of money that's good for everybody like and it really was one of those deals where they changed the world and everybody won. I believe in your son. I believe he's the future and his story is going to make us want to fly. But a shoe is just a shoe. Until my son steps into it. An air is out in the United States and the United Kingdom and this week. Next, we've seen her in French speaking films like A Prophet and All That Glitters, as well as The Source and Perfect Nanny, and more recently in How I Became a Superhero. Leila Bechti is a much loved actress here in France. Her latest film is called Loving Memories from director Guillaume Bureau. France 24's French culture editor Louise Dupont has been speaking to her. Madame, comme vous le savez, mon patient souffre d'une profonde amnésie. Il ne se rappelle rien, même pas son nom. C'est moi. Il ne vous reconnaîtra sans doute pas. C'est possible que je ne retrouve jamais la mémoire Oui, c'est possible. Pendant longtemps, je l'ai cru mort. J'ai mis tellement de temps à faire mon deuil. T'as pas changé, tu sais. Tu me regardais pareil la première fois qu'on s'est rencontrés. Toutes ces photos, c'est toi qui les as prises. Ça te rappelle rien in your latest film, Loving Memories, we're transported into the years that follow World War II. Tell us about the character you play. She's a photographer. Her name is Judy. She's a photographer and quite avant-garde. She's got a job. She drives, wears trousers, and she smokes. She's waiting for her lover who went to fight in the war. She's been waiting four years. Then a man comes to her, and she's convinced it's him. She's a big romantic, and I'm glued to the TV when there's a romantic film. So when the director Guillaume Bureau told me about this film, I didn't hesitate a single second. Karim Leclou plays a soldier suffering from amnesia. We're seeing him on our screens more and more. I think you've already done three films together. One of them was The Prophet. We didn't have scenes together, but we did share scenes in The Source, and after that in The Third War as well. How is he as a co-star? Karim is very involved. He's interested in other characters, and he's interested in the work. He's kind of unique. He has an intense stare. I love working with him. 
and I was very happy to shoot with him again. Meanwhile, the film All Your Faces by Jean Herry is also out this spring. It's about restorative justice, which started back in 2014 here in France. It allows victims and criminals to speak to each other in a secure environment. Why were you interested in being part of such a socially engaged film? First of all, to be very honest, I've never heard of restorative justice. What I love about this film is that it's about reparations. It's about the importance of dialogue. Sur, euh, the importance of others. Et, euh, et forcément, euh, we live in a world where it's difficult to find time to de, talk to each other de se parler, and to listen to each other. This film is about listening. Et puis le and the conditions for us actors were great as well, because we were able to work on the same set for five weeks in the same place. And in the scenes, we were only able to speak when we had the stick. There was sort of a rhythm at the beginning. We filmed in chronological order, so that meant I could use my body. I needed to be very tired at first to play my character, Noel, who had been assaulted in the supermarket where she worked. Then Jan and I decided to make her more vibrant. Because my character was healing bit by bit. I was agressed in the supermarket where I worked for five years. Je suis là pour vous dire ce qui se passe pour les victimes quand vous commettez ce genre de choses. J'ai 25 ans et j'ai braqué une super vite. J'ai passé toute ma vie dans le monde des stupéfiants. Ça fait 25 ans que je fais des allers-retours entre la prison et l'extérieur. Je suis plus comme avant. Ma vie est plus comme avant. Et si je résume, avant, elle était mieux. Quand vous parlez de peur, vous voulez dire quoi exactement Quand vous attaquez quelqu'un, il n'y a pas qu'une victime. Il y a d'autres victimes derrière. Il y a des familles. What's your next project? Well, now that I'm allowed to tell people, I'm going to be in Ken Scott's new film. He directed Starbuck. Well, his next film is a massive love story. It's a note to family. Thank you, Leila Bekti. Thank you. Je peux vous donner de l'argent. Vous disparaissez de sa vie. Madame Delaunay venait proposer de t'acheter. Je t'aime tellement. Moi aussi, tu m'aimais. Tu aimes qui Je sais pas qui je suis. There have been at least 50 film and television adaptations of French author Alexander Dumas's 1844 novel, The Three Musketeers. The latest by French filmmaker Martin Bourboulon is a two-part saga starring Vincent Cassel, Roman Duris and Eva Green. Je suis Charles D'Artagnan. Aussi loin que je me souvienne, j'ai toujours rêvé d'être mousquetaire. A rare sight, the new heroes of French cinema galloping across Paris to promote the Three Musketeers d'Artagnan. They may have had a modern makeover, but their slogan remains the same. One for all and all for one. That's it in a nutshell. Not a bad slogan for our current times. For François Civil, the role of D'Artagnan is a childhood dream. I wanted the role so much that I gave myself a little D'Artagnan style haircut. I shaved my moustache properly and it worked, so I'm delighted. I'm pretending to be a musketeer in my grandma's garden. Inspiring children's imaginations for centuries. The legend of D'Artagnan can be traced back to Castle More Castle in the Jers region of France. D'Artagnan was probably born in this house. We have every reason to believe it. In the wing to the right, in the tower. This historical figure was actually called Charles de Betz. This is his only known portrait. When he became a musketeer, he took his mother's name, D'Artagnan. Following successes on the battlefield, he died in combat in 1673. One and a half centuries later, French literary legend Alexandre Dumas unearthed D'Artagnan's memoirs. They would inspire his first serialized novel in the press. Ranging from early black and white adaptations to colorful animations, the story has been reinterpreted for the big and small screen around a hundred times. This one starring Jean-Paul Belmondo. 
Un pour tous Tous pour un Hollywood has often adapted this French tale from Gene Kelly in 1948 to Kiefer Sutherland and Charlie Sheen in the nineties, setting a huge precedent for the 2023 French film's director. We couldn't disappoint, so we had to find the balance between what we could bring to it with the technology and resources we have today, and yet still respect the original text and its strengths. Meanwhile, a small-budget UK adaptation starring the first black d'Artagnan has been largely overshadowed by its French competitor. I'm not scared of you. That is why you are a fool, d'Artagnan. <laughs> We'll leave you with two famous moustached Italian-American plumbers. The Super Mario Bros film arrives in cinemas this week. Chris Pratt is Mario, Charlie Day is Luigi, and Anya Taylor-Joy plays Princess Peach. Thanks for watching. See you next time.